And when I had the chance to join full time, I kind of jumped at it. The opportunity to work on a completely new aircraft, something that's never been done before, with opportunities to develop new technology. I'm Chris Coates, and I'm the Senior Technical Programme Manager to the Chief Engineer. I'm Joe Moore, Propellers and Blade Pitch Lead. So vx 4s completely new. The way we manufacture the propellers could be completely different. Props are in-house because it's a core technology for vertical aerospace. These propellers are unlike propellers that you see in other operations. They have to operate in the vertical regime, so when the aircraft's hovering, but they also have to operate in cruise. The most difficult area they have to operate though is in that transition phase where we're accelerating from vertical flight into forward flight. Those technological challenges associated with that transition area are the most difficult. When we went to look for potential partners uh, out in the wider industry, we didn't find anybody who could work in that space with the agility that we needed and the pace that we require at vertical. I guess we're trying to develop the lightest um, and most efficient products. The properties you can achieve with composites for lightweight and strength are, you know, unbeatable. And obviously there's, you know, unique shapes and stuff you can create. You can tailor low pass with composites, so, you know, you can be stronger in certain areas of a, of a part. And in propellers that's really important because you're only trying to carry load into certain areas, certain parts of the propellers you want to be stronger than others. For propeller was like a solid material was kind of not very weight optimized and weight efficient. So you know using composites and kind of tailoring where where the strength is within that kind of allows you to you know come up with the most optimized solution. We've had two generations of propellers so far and we're about to start the design of the third generation. The first generation was fitted onto our first aircraft. We're now putting the second generation of propellers through its paces on the aircraft and we're really excited about the next phase which is to take them into the forward flight regime. For eVTOLs to become mainstream, they have to be significantly less noisy than conventional helicopters. One of the things that surprises me most when the aircraft running is to hear it. We're so much quieter than the other operators at Campbell Airfield the conventional helicopters and the conventional aircraft. We do this by a number of items. Some of that is multiple motors with propellers. That means that we can spin the tips uh, a lot slower um, and noise is very much created by tip speed. We specialise our design so we have tips that minimise vortex shedding, minimise the noise that comes off them. Generation 2 propellers have been a balance between noise performance and strength. We're going to take that learning from Generation 2 into Generation 3 to improve that balance. The props have so many different requirements and basically each requirement is validated with a physical test. So, you know, for instance, there's fatigue requirements and we, we run fatigue analysis in computer software packages, but we also validate that with a physical test. So all our parts have gone through physical fatigue testing where they're you know, fatigue tested on a rig for, you know, four weeks to prove the results we are getting on our analysis is validated with a physical test. When we're running Kemble, I have an immense amount of pride. It's a fascinating role to be involved in the high-level concept design of the VX4 vehicle. When I had the chance to join full-time, I kind of jumped at it. The opportunity to work on a completely new aircraft, something that's never been done before, with opportunities to develop new technology, looking at bringing in new you know, composite technology into the industry was something that really was exciting for me.